Hey, what's going on guys? So this is it. This is the end of 2021. We finally made it together. And honestly, guys, oh, what a wild ride it was. Now, if you're just now viewing this, um, you know, Merry Christmas to you guys, to all the ones who are seeing this after, Merry belated Christmas, and then Happy New Year to all the ones who are going to be seeing this, or if I don't get to talk to you then, you know, Happy New Year's, and I hope 2022 is going to be fantastic for you and all your loved ones. Now, I just want to make a really, really quick video. Um, this is kind of more of a recap on what I felt and what I've done throughout 2021 and looking forward to 2022. Um, I'm not going to like do a showcase of all my builds and all the painted builds and everything. I really didn't even do that many. I think I did a total of eight painted builds, which really isn't that many for 2021. But I honestly did improve on a lot of different areas. I tried some different techniques. I tried scribing for the first time. I tried the anime cell shading kind of like painted effects. And I did some other stuff, LEDs, you know, resin. So I did a lot of cool things, but I didn't do a lot. Now, moving forward, I definitely want to change that. But going back to 2021, it really was a rough year, at least for me. It was, uh, you know, rough not only in my career, there's a lot of things that uh, didn't happen like I really wanted it to during 2021. Um, there's just a lot of events that went on and it really made me just stop doing everything for months. I think from February to like June, I didn't build a model, I didn't really do anything, I didn't touch the channel. Like it was pretty much a dead channel at that point. Um, but I was also getting burnt out on the videos I was making, like I you know, talked about in my I, I'm quitting Gundam reviews, which admittedly is a little bit of a clickbaity to, to, uh, to, title, but I really wanted people to see what I was talking about and, and wasn't going to be like completely thrown off when they see the complete change in tone and just different change in the type of videos I was going to be making. So I kind of wanted people to, you know, watch that video and just understand exactly what was going on from the from that point on now some of the highlights that i know of in 2021 was the 10th anniversary of gundam age i made a, a video that basically stated i was going to build every single model kit from gundam age and i was going to do a video on them man that did not work out so um it's actually not a bad thing because if i would have painted every single kit just for the sake of painting it, I think I would have had some really lackluster painted builds. So I think what holding back a little bit is giving me a little bit more experience, a little more creativity and time. So that way when I do tackle some of these other Gundam Age kits, like some of the Master Grades, then I'm gonna be doing a much better job on painting them and get them all customized and detailed. So I don't look at it as a bad thing. I do hate that I didn't fulfill my own kind of personal uh, goal, but for the most part, I'm kind of happy it didn't happen because uh, later on in the future, I should be able to do some better work. Another thing that was really big was I started making the hangar videos, which is the safety inspection videos. Honestly, doing these videos had made me so much happier and I'm so much more eager to make the videos. I'm writing scripts, uh, there's different special guests. So I did have so far, it's a Gumpla, a uh, great person, you know, great individual to help me out with these videos, a lot of pointers. And also he's just really quick whenever I, you know, shoot him the script on what his lines are gonna be, you know, not, he's shooting me back exactly what I need and maybe a little bit more. So definitely props to him and uh, do look out for more special guests on those videos. Uh, because it kind of just paves an open way for anyone to come in and be a part of this storyline. It's not a big storyline, really. It's, it's kind of more like The Office meets Gundam, I guess you, you can say. But that's, I don't know, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a more realistic view on the model kits that we're building. It's cool to see the ASMR snip, 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 snip. Um, but for me, I wanted something a little bit different that has not really been tried uh, although it's not really taking off in the same way that I thought it was going to be taking off but it's completely fine I think next year it's going to be doing much better because uh, I'm going to be purchasing some better equipment and uh, hopefully that's going to just improve the overall quality now here in the month of December for 2021, I did hit 20,000 subscribers, which is fantastic. And a huge thank you to everyone who views this channel, you know, just subscribed or, you know, whatever. If you've been a part of this channel for the past 
decade. Uh, definitely major props to you guys for sticking it out with me, or if, even if you're a newcomer, uh, definitely thank you for coming to watch the videos. But yeah, twenty thousand. It, it's it's pretty monumental. You know, I'm a fifth. I'm a fifth there to a hundred thousand, which is kind of like my main goal. After that, I'm kind of just like cool let's just make videos there's no more big milestones at that point now i did make a promise uh, I, don't, I don't know how many people might have seen this on twitter but i made a promise that if i well i guess it's more of a challenge but if i hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 i was going to go ahead and do a giveaway this giveaway is going to be on the metal robot barbatos so this i know a lot of people has been wanting it and it's a little bit hard to get. I know it's a little bit pricey for people that are outside Japan, but the Barbatos Lupus, you see my review. If you haven't, I definitely recommend you checking it out. It's one of the few videos um, that I did that is still kind of like in the more traditional style. But this is going to be the figure I'm going to give away. Now, the way to enter to try and get this is going to be via Twitter, all right? I'm doing it on YouTube to announce it to everyone. If you don't have Twitter, I'm sorry. I'm kind of just doing it, doing this more for my uh, my Twitter audiences um, because I'm trying to like grow that platform more than I am my YouTube at the moment. But the way that you're going to enter is you're either going to comment on one of my posts, and it doesn't matter what posts, you can comment, you can retweet, you can share, or I guess retweeting is share, but you can comment, retweet, quote, tweet, whatever. Um, as long as whatever you're saying is a positive message, to, it doesn't have to be me, it could be a positive message to anyone, as long as it's positive, and you're going to use the hashtag 2022positive. That's all you're going to do. And I'm going to, so far, no one has used those uh, hashtags so far. So whenever I go in there and I search, it's pretty, it should be all mine. Um, but positive 2022 is going to be the hashtag. Um, all you have to do is comment anywhere on Twitter or retweet or quote tweet and just, you know, say something positive about someone. Um, I would say preferably keep it within the Gundam community because there's a lot of smaller creators uh, that can definitely use some cheering up because they kind of go through the same thing. You know, they get smaller amount of views and they kind of start doubting themselves. Um, but give them that cheer up, you know, share them, share them and try and get them a little more expo uh, exposure. There's a lot of good content creators out there and, you know, I think they definitely need the recognition. So if you can, uh, definitely utilize that uh, hashtag and that's gonna get you entry in order to try and win this figure right here and i'll be doing the uh announcements let's do january 3rd i think that's plenty enough time to go out there and do it uh refrain from doing it like so many times um but i, I should be able to sift through all the duplicate uh users so if you want to use it a couple of times it's fine but try and keep it to a one and done and then once the uh the things concluded hey still go ahead and use it now looking forward to 2022, I don't really have anything super major right now in terms of content. I'm gonna keep doing these safety videos. Outside of that, I do have another video segment I'm gonna be doing that is going to include 7-Eleven. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen some of the hints that's uh, leading towards it, but I just kinda wanna experiment and try this uh, different little segment and uh, different version of reviews. So it's kinda gonna be a little bit more on the standardized reviews, but I think it's gonna be a little bit more uh, wholesome because in 2022, I definitely wanna keep more like positivity within the gun community. Um, you know, I, I think just being on social media so much, it kind of draws a lot of toxicity from people, no matter what, you know, kind of person they are. Even me, like sometimes I kind of get diving into the uh, the Twitter and I, I get a little bit, you know, uh, toxic myself. So that's something I'm trying to work on and I definitely want to encourage everyone else to work on. So uh, starting today, you know, let's be a little bit more positive moving forward into 2022. We already had enough craziness go on in the past two years. So let's make 2022 just the year to remember and something that we can utilize and, um, you know, up like love uplift everyone within our community but that's pretty much all i have guys 2022 is gonna be pretty fun we have a lot of anniversaries um i definitely encourage people to come and join the discord because we're gonna be doing anniversary events and uh i definitely dropped the ball a little bit on the uh, gundam age one because we never finished the entire series uh mainly because we was watching like one episode a weekend probably should up this to like five episodes a weekend or so or so that probably would have been a little bit better but um, I think moving forward, 
try and keep it like one series a month because there is a ton of series that's having a major anniversary within the kind of more even um you know digits so there's a lot that are like going into the 10 year anniversary i think gundam double o is doing a uh I think it's 15 year anniversary. Um, Gundam Wing, the Endless Waltz OVA. I think that one's hitting like 20, 25 years. It's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I think that one's 20 years. So it's insane. I mean, we got a lot of different anniversaries. Mad Cross, the entire franchise, is hitting its 40th year anniversary. So I definitely want to get back into building some Mad Cross kits and try and paint at least one. Um, but yeah, the goal to do one uh, franchise a month and maybe try and finish finish a series i mean if it's just gundam endless waltz ova then that shouldn't be too hard but something like matt cross we'll have to you know try and pick and choose the movies and everything the the ones that are actually like really good and uh take a look at those on discord so i'll put the discord link down in the description so go ahead and uh join in and hey you know just go ahead and have a good time but other than that guys and girls uh thank you all for watching uh you know once again use that hashtag positive oh sorry 2022 positive and uh, i'll be seeing y'all on twitter discord or wherever else you go ahead and uh, find me so thank you all for watching have a great new year and i'll see you in 2022 bye bye